Are you shooting, Mike? I thought John was shooting first. Ah. I got it. What's up? You got it. Yeah. Back in the flash. Back in the flash. All right, guys. So, what I have here, uh, actually. Actually, you know, we'll do it like this. There's no light. This thing is, what happened to our light? Our light's gone. You guys can see me, though. Um, <laughs> pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. All right, guys. So, what I have here, a basic bolt. This is, I mean, the basic of basic. It's 140 this, bucks. 140 bucks. And what I've done here is I put a 686 fin to uh, A5, and I have the... Actually, you want to, I sticks. think you want to get the gauge and show people what the, right, what the gauge is. Right, right here. And then on the Bolt Elites, which is hot seller for us right now, um, I have the one-shot barrel. And this has no thread or no muzzle brake on it. Um, but let me get the ball sizer here for you, and I'll show you. All right. So when you get your hammerhead kits, if you buy it in the kit, you're going to get one of these muzzle, uh, I'm sorry, ball sizers. And they have six sizes on here it's all the way from 679 to 693 these are different variations of the size of projectiles that you'll encounter in the field so for you guys that are forced to use field paint this is a great great opportunity for you to achieve consistency with by using field paint not the the greatest up to par paint so how you use it i have our ag1 paint here what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take my pinky finger and my thumb and I'm going to begin to pass it through these bore sizes here. And when you get to the correct one, it should be able to pass in and out with little to no resistance. So if it just passes right through, it's probably not going to be the best. If, it, if it's too tight, obviously it's not going to go through. So this paint has actually been sitting a little bit and I put it through the 688. Uh, this one works and you always want to test multiple projectiles even in the same bag before you choose your fin the five fin kit is probably the best uh the best option for you so go ahead and do that i'm gonna load up a mag here and I'm what, show the, you. what a fin does so once you match the the ball you're going to match the fin correct show, show them that too so, they so once like i said this is the 688 fin i'll take it off here. yeah take it i'm going to show you exactly how it looks like So the fin, the hammerhead barrels, they are comprised of three components. Like Mike and Casey talked about, you have the fin, the barrel itself, and then the muzzle brake. There are the fin size, like I said, a 6.8. I won't take it off here, but this one mm -hmm. says a 5, 6.88. So then you take that, once you've, you've chosen the use your ball sizer to choose the correct size fin, and you'll go ahead and attach it to whatever marker system you're using. So we have it in autococker, spider, A598, and ion threader, or smart parts threaded. Um, you'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and load up the magazine here. Now I'm gonna do the, the paintballs first, so that way you guys can see the consistency. I have two targets down there, some very nice ladies that are gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> gonna be splattered with paint, but I have a box behind it so we don't make a mess, and some foam. I'm just going to show you the consistency that I get. Obviously, I can do, uh, I'll do an outdoor video if you guys really want to see that. Uh, and we'll talk about distances and things like that. Yeah, we'll get some light. And uh, as well. But I want to show you, we're about, how far do you think we are? I'll go all the way back to the door here. How far do you think we are? We're about uh, 40, 50 feet. 40, 50 feet away. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you guys, you're going to see here, I'm going to use, I'm going to do the paint first with your basic bolt. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to aim at that lady over there, the 2007 or 2016 mag. I'm going to show you how and what we can achieve here with the, uh, the um, paint. Watch the thigh. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So, I was aiming for the, the pants the entire time. And what you can see here is I have a very, very 
uh, concentrated grouping here with a couple flyers, about one, two, three, four, five. So an overall spread of about a foot and a half or foot and a quarter um, with that at about 50 feet, which is, that's really good in my opinion um, with paintball especially. So uh, that, that, was, that definitely worked a lot better than I thought it would. Um, <laughs> So, talk about the range, the, the range, catcher, the, the catcher. range, and the, the yeah, everything, <laughs> even the consistency of the of the paintball. And like I said, you are going to get a couple flyers because even in the same bag, there's a lot of variables with manufacturers. There's a lot of different um, configurations of paintballs, how they're made, etc., that contribute to the flight pattern, the consist consistencies, etc. So that's why I always say, test with your ball sizer multiple rounds in the same bag, and you want to test multiple times throughout the day. The reason being is, depending on the conditions, the weather conditions that you're playing in, whether it's humidity or it's cold outside or it's extremely just hot, dry weather, that's going to uh, definitely inc uh, contribute to the dexterity and the complexity of the shell, the paintball in general. It's gonna swell, it'll you know dimple, etc. So all of those things come into play with round ball. Um, let's move on to the shape projectile. Shape projectiles are definitely a different animal. Um, we, I, I shot my first first strike around four and a half months ago and it, it blew my mind. So uh, it's definitely something that is uh, extremely different in the industry. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll load up some shape projectiles here. Those are actually first strike, by the These way. These are our first strikes. They call, we call them shape projectile in general for certain reasons, but we can't talk about it until later on. Right. But he actually loading first strike. You want to see the box just so you know. Well, this is what latest batch. The what's, what's, the, is, what's the size of the latest batch? I believe this is 686. So let's, I'm going to show you here. There's been a lot of rumors going around that they were going to make a 683, but I I do I haven't yet to see that. It doesn't even fit in the 683. Yeah, you uh, just got a little size. You see the uh, so little head. The 683, 686 seems to be the best mm -hmm. option here. So I'm gonna be shooting this out of our one-shot barrel, which is actually four shape projectiles. And I'm gonna show you the consistency and the accuracy, the, I mean, solid accuracy that you can achieve uh, with the first strike and shape projectile rounds. On a basic gun. On a basic gun. So like I said, the whole purpose of this video, guys, is because a lot of you guys think that you, think you need to spend five, $600 to get a, a system that is going to shoot different projectiles differently, and that's that's not the case. Your your barrel is your the accessory that we always encourage, even the most basic of owners of our markers to upgrade. Um, and then all the other things are are pretty much cosmetic, in all honesty. So. Yeah, we always recommend getting the basic markers first and go out there, have fun, shoot it, and then upgrade from there. Um, we don't recommend getting a huge new gun and then um, and then. Don't know if you like it or not. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna shoot this out of the Bolt Elite 2017. Oh, so much better uh, yeah. as far as insertion. This is the one-shot barrel. Like I said, this has uh, no muzzle brake on it because I didn't. I just want to do this for testing purposes. It's a direct threaded A5. This is the eight-inch version. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna be aiming at the the chest and torso, right at the arm of the target here. Um, you know what? I'll even aim at the head. I'll see what I can, how many I can get at the head here. Headshot. All right. Let's take a look here. That's a full mag of first strike right 20 there. 20 round, 2017 shape projectile helix. And here we go. Here's my strike. We got one. Stuff right, right there, there. lodge right there. Here's my grouping. The same distance. Uh, I had two flyers here. If I would have had a buttstock, I would have been able to control the marker a little bit better. But you can see, I mean, headshot. Headshots. Every, That's like what, three inch, three inch headshot right three there? Three inch headshot. I mean, right. I had two flyers and I know how this happened. This was just a, a slight variation to the left, but you can see all right here, all my projectiles were, I mean, that's the difference. That's that's the benefit of a hammerhead system, in my opinion. And this, like I said, there's a testing, there's a proof right there for you. I can I shot it live. Shot it live. I can definitely say, even if I was 20 feet uh, back more, I would have been able to compensate 
for uh, my drop, I would have been able to definitely see an increase of consistency and, uh, and distance and accuracy, especially with a shape around. And I wanna show you something here too. Look at how small this head is. This is my hand. This is the target that I was aiming at uh, from that far, that far away uh, with the shape projectile rounds. So like I said, there's a lot of you guys out there that are um, excited for our round. You're excited for uh, first strikes, but this is the benefits and the consistency value and uh, increase that you can achieve with the hammerhead barrel system. So keep that in mind. If you guys are looking for a basic gun, you can supplement that five six hundred dollar cost by buying a hundred and thirty nine dollar gun and a ninety dollar barrel or an eighty dollar barrel and get the same consistency and accuracy that you guys want in the field with all types of paint whether it's Valcom graffiti ag1 uh, first strikes uh, new world psyops it doesn't matter the hammerhead barrel system is a benefit it's definitely an upgrade that you guys are going to want to have with your marker system it doesn't matter what you have um, you bring basic Titmans. Uh, you don't want to make a mag fed, but you have that 200 round. Imagine a 200 round or Vortex new hopper option. 200 rounds with a hammerhead barrel. Oh my goodness! You guys are gonna be picking off people. No problem, uh, even with paintballs. So, thank you guys for watching that. Let's go back over here and finish up. Let's see here. <clears throat> Combat Sports.